Okay, so we've talked about the malted kelp tablet. If your dog isn't eating, try this stuff. Order it from www.poochdvd.co.uk. You know what, my word is my bond. Um, I think that anybody that's watched my, my clips, you know, I, I'm a very proud person. And, um, you know, the worst thing I, that, that could be is for people to be posting comments that I've recommended stuff that doesn't work. I'm not recommending these for any other reason than the fact that they really, really, really work. And the good thing is on the site, yes, it is my site. It's a you know money back guarantee on anything that we recommend to you. Uh, the malted kelp seaweed for dogs that have poor appetites. You know, even the scenarios where um you know you um you have a, a stud dog, and when a bitch comes in season, they go off their food. Give them the malted kelp tablets. It's fantastic and very, very affordable. You know, I think off the top of my head, a 200 tablet. Um, they're probably about sort of, uh, I think, 16.99 or so um, on the website. Well, well worth it. Um, another thing that I'd like to talk about is the Vetzyme, um product, conditioning tablet. A lot of people may turn around and say to me, well, you know, Ben, if you feed a good diet, you don't really need to give these sort of conditioning tablets. I think there is truth behind that. However, um, every little helps, I think. Um, for me, prevention is much better than cure. Um, you know, I do b brag time and time again about how healthy these dogs are and, you know, the fact that, you know, I don't need to make veterinary uh, visits. They are extremely healthy, but I also do um, little things that make a massive, massive difference. These conditioning tablets are actually a good treat. Um, instead of feeding it additional sort of bits of chicken and sausage and stuff like that, um, you know, I always have these in my pocket. And um, the tablets are like so. Um, great tablets. You can't, you, you, you know, you can't really give too many. I'd give probably two or three of these a day to a, to a little puppy. And I'm going to show you in a minute how I'm going to do a recall with um, Attila, a young uh, tamri cold. Uh, male CEO, um, getting the recall right from an early age. Very important control is key. This is a recall for Attila. Attila, come. Good boy. Good boy. Can you see that he's now come? So he knows this is the reward is here and I'm praising him. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You know, it's very warm, very loving, and um, then he gets his treat. Good boy, Attila. Good boy. And that's just like a, a very basic recall, you know, so come now, when we say, you know, come, you know, it's, there's, there's a benefit to listening and responding immediately. Um, so, yeah, that's um, just a quick tip. And just do this, you know, once, twice a day, you know, with any command, whether it's, you know, show me your, show me your teeth, you know, ears, so they're calm, pause. You know, so when you go to a vet, you just don't have a dog that's running amok. Good boy. Just showing a stay with, uh, with Diesel. Uh, very important that you get these commands in as soon as you can. Stay. And then also, just really want to talk about recall. When you recall your dog, of charkers, they do say that they can be notorious to get back. There is an element of truth here, but it's all about training and all about the response of when they do come back to you. Now watch when I call him. Diesel, come to me, boy. Good boy! Can you see that? Good boy! There is really, really good praise. So that's what's important. He must get good praise and he will come back to you. And first of all, he must want to come back to you because he loves to be with you.